drag the access point icon onto the map and notice that its associated SPP digital radios also appear. These can be relocated on the map to resize for easy viewing. Drag the repeater icon from the active device tray and drop it onto its relative location on the configured map. Again, the icon can be resized by use of the icon handles for easy viewing on Traffic.2. This is also a good time to turn on Discover Mode for the most updated information from a wireless device to Traffic.2. Now the repeater's upstream and downstream RF channels can be configured and applied. Once a command has been sent to a wireless device, the command log will show its completion percentage. Upon 100% completion, the command has been sent to the wireless device and the command log can be hidden by selecting the Hide Log button. Drag the Contact Closure Card icon from the Active Device tray and drop it onto a location on the configured map. Each of its input channels can be independently configured as enabled or disabled. Then settings such as pulse or presence mode, time delays or extensions, or channel holdover settings can also be applied. When an input channel of a contact closure card has been enabled, its relative position on the contact closure card icon will turn green to indicate its current status. <laughs> 